Have you ever wondered why redheads are so rare and unique? From their fiery tresses to the intriguing myths that surround them, redheads have captured our imaginations for centuries. But what's the science behind their unique hair color? In this video, we'll explore the genetics of red hair, debunk common myths, provide fun facts, and celebrate the unique qualities that make redheads so special. Red hair is one of the rarest natural hair colors in the world. It's a distinctive and remarkable trait that sets individuals with red hair apart. To emphasize its rarity, consider this surprising statistic. Red hair is found in only about 1-2% to of the global population. This low prevalence is a testament to the unique genetic makeup required for red hair to manifest, and its scarcity makes red hair a treasure of sorts, contributing to its desirability and the intrigue it generates. Red hair is primarily determined by a genetic mutation within the MC1R gene, which stands for melanocortin-1 receptor. This gene plays a central role in regulating the production of melanin, the pigment responsible for the coloration of various tissues in our bodies, including the hair, skin, and eyes. In most individuals, the MC1R gene functions to produce eumelanin, a dark pigment that gives rise to hair colors like brown and black. However, in people with red hair, the genetic mutation within the MC1R gene disrupts the normal function of the gene and shifts melanin production from eumelanin to pheomelanin. Pheomelanin is a lighter pigment responsible for the red and orange hues found in red hair. Beyond the color of hair, the MC1R gene also influences skin and eye color, and people with red hair often exhibit fair skin and a greater susceptibility to sunburn. This is because they have lower levels of eumelanin, which acts as a natural shield against the harmful effects of UV radiation. Freckles are another common characteristic among redheads and occur due to an uneven distribution of melanin. Freckles are essentially concentrated pockets of melanin that can become more pronounced when exposed to UV rays. Red hair is a recessive trait, meaning that both parents must carry the MC1R gene mutation for their child to have red hair. If only one parent carries the mutation, the child will be a carrier of the mutation but will not have red hair. Further, even if both parents have red hair, there is no guarantee that their child will inherit this unique trait. To predict the probability of a child inheriting red hair, geneticists often use a tool called a Punnett square, which is a visual representation of possible gene combinations passed on from parents to their offspring. When it comes to red hair, the Punnett square reveals that there's a 25% chance of a child having red hair if both parents carry the MC1R gene mutation. The frequency of the MC1R gene mutation varies across different populations, being more common in regions with Celtic and Northern European descent. In these regions, it's not unusual to find a higher percentage of individuals with red hair. The prevalence can be as high as 10 to 13% in some areas of Ireland and Scotland, making it a distinctive and culturally significant trait in these regions. Conversely, the frequency of the MC1R gene mutation is notably lower in other parts of the world, such as Asia, Africa, and many parts of the Americas. In these areas, red hair is far less common, making it a relatively rare and unique trait. Red hair's prevalence in certain regions has sparked numerous evolutionary theories. One prevalent theory suggests that the presence of red hair and fair skin may have offered an advantage in regions with limited sunlight, as those individuals were better at absorbing vitamin D from the limited sunlight available. Another theory proposes that individuals with fair skin and red hair may have been better suited to regions with milder sunlight and less UV radiation. Some theories also consider the role of mate selection in the prevalence of red hair, as red hair's uniqueness makes it a distinctive and attention-catching trait. Common myths and misconceptions about redheads have persisted for centuries. One of the most enduring myths about redheads is that they have fiery tempers. This stereotype is not supported by scientific evidence. There's another popular myth that red hair is going extinct. This notion is based on the belief that the MC1R gene mutation is becoming less common. While it's true that red hair is rare, it is not on the brink of extinction. The presence of the gene can persist in populations even when red hair is not prevalent. Another misconception is that redheads are more sensitive to pain. While some studies have suggested that red-haired individuals might be more sensitive to certain types of pain, other studies have shown that this does not equate to redheads feeling more pain overall. Lastly, is the myth that redheads have magical powers. This superstition has been around for centuries, but there is no scientific evidence to support it. Red hair is a natural genetic trait, and it does not provide any special powers. Finally, 
Here are five fun facts about redheads. Redheads are more likely to be left-handed. Redheads have less hair, but each strand of their hair is thicker, making their hair appear fuller. Redheads are more likely to have blue eyes, and it is estimated that only 1% of the population has red hair and blue eyes. Redheads are more likely to have freckles. Redheads are more likely to be stung by bees, as the bees may be attracted to red hair. We are excited to hear what you think about this topic. Are you a redhead? Do you have any personal experiences you would like to share? Please leave us a comment and let us know. Additionally, if you liked this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.